Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, welcome back to another episode of Bad Beast Barbecue. Today, we're going to be doing a 4.6 pound pork loin, okay? We're going to be cooking that on the Kamado Joe, okay? We're going to be using cherry wood chunks and we're going to be using Kamado Joe's big block charcoal, okay? Lump charcoal. We're going to be seasoning our pork loin today with some Grill Mates black pepper and garlic uh, SPG seasoning. Love this stuff. This stuff is great. Great basic uh, uh, seasoning. We're going to be uh, using uh, avocado oil as our binder. And we're going to throw this on the Kamado Joe. And we're going to also make a orange marmalade glaze to put on this near the end of the cook. And once it comes off, the orange marmalade glaze is going to have Grand Marnier in it, a little soy sauce, a little brown sugar, and some orange marmalade jam. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm bringing you closer. We're going to do, remove a little bit of the silver skin, and we're going to get this bad boy prepped for the smoker. All right, guys, so here's our pork loin. It's uh, 4.6 pounds in weight, okay? Uh, we're going to go ahead and remove some of the silver skin. We're going to be using our Dow Strong uh, Frost Fire Filet Knife, okay? This is from the Frost, Frost Fire series. Uh, from Dow Strong, if you guys are interested in getting one of these knives or any Dow Strong knife, uh, check out the description block. I have a link there where you can get 10% off your entire order uh, from Dow Strong. And these knives are fantastic for the cook or pit master in your life. Uh, Christmas is coming up. They make fantastic gifts. And uh, what I like about Dow Strong knives so much is that the aesthetics of the knife. I mean, they're just like works of art. I love the handle and the, and the colors and the, the different materials they're made out of. And then their performance is fantastic. As you can see, like this bad boy is really, really sharp. It does a great job of getting underneath silver skin and filleting fish um, and those type of jobs. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this up right quick. I'm not going to remove all the fat since a pork loin is already really lean. I may leave a little bit of fat on there too add some moisture to the cook, okay? But I just want to catch, catch that top layer. All right, so we're gonna leave this like this. And what I wanna do is I wanna put some slits in the top of it. So we're gonna use our fillet knife and just make us some diagonal slits in the top of our pork loin. Now remember, we're cooking this pork loin to 145 degrees internal temperature. So the cook is not going to take that long. I'm just putting some slits in the in the pork loin just for aesthetics. Also it'll help get the seasoning down in the crevices a little bit more. All right, so we'll put our knife on the side. We'll get our avocado oil. And we don't want to put, we don't want to overly saturate it because the pork loin is already moist. So it'll definitely hold the rub. We just want to add a little bit more oil to the cook. Okay. All right. So let's get the underneath side first. And like I said, this grill mates, uh, SPG is fantastic. You got some large pieces of garlic in here and, and pepper and, and seasonings, man. This is a fantastic SPG. So check it out. If you get a chance, you run across it in your store. I'll put a link to it on Amazon down in the description block. And you guys can order you some if you want to. Okay. And I know you say, well, you're seasoning it pretty heavy, and I, I am. Um, it is still a big piece of meat, so it should be able to take some decent seasoning. And besides the sweetness of the glaze that's going on here will counteract the salt, pepper, and garlic flavor that we're adding to it right now. All right, we'll let this sit here and get happy. Let's bring our Kamado Joe up to temperature and we'll throw this bad boy on. So guys, as you can see, it's not the ideal day out here. It's uh, really warm today. It's about 60 degrees out here supposed to get up in the neighborhood of 70 but uh rainy and overcast all day long but that should never be a reason for you to not cook outdoors uh we just moved the Kamado Joe underneath our big patio tent and uh we got her smoking away okay so as soon as this comes up to tent up to temp we'll go ahead and get the pork loin on here with a little cherry wood and uh shouldn't take no more than a couple of hours to get her up to 145 degrees internal 
we may use the meter probe to monitor the internal temperature while it's cooking. Okay, so hey, hang back and we'll be putting the pork loin on here in a few minutes. All right, guys, so our pork loin has been on here for a while. It's reached uh, internal temperature of about 110, 115 degrees. So we're going to go ahead and start glazing it, and I want to glaze it periodically until it gets between 145 and 150, okay? And this is the glaze that I'm talking about. This is, has orange marmalade in it. It has uh, or that orange liqueur, Grand Marnier in it. It has some turbinado sugar in it, a little rice vinegar and a little soy sauce in it. I'll put all the description, all the ingredients up here on the screen and in the description block if you want to check it out, okay? I stuck it all in a mason jar, shook it up real good to mix all the ingredients together. And now we're just going to go ahead and brush this on and continue to brush it on until our tenderloin is cooked. All right, so let's get to it. All right, there's our pork tenderloin. She's looking pretty good there. Smoking along with a little cherry wood chunks. And we're just going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to dab this on I just want to give this glaze an opportunity to penetrate and add some additional sweetness to our pork loin. And uh, like I said, this is an orange marmalade glaze. And of, of course, it's got a little Grand Marnier in it, orange liqueur. However, if you want to make a version of this that doesn't have the liquor in it, then you can use orange soda, you can use orange juice. Uh, or any kind of orange flavored drink in order to give you that orange flavor, okay? But it's the holidays. Let's go ahead and put a little libation on it. So, all right, we'll let it keep cooking and we'll hit it again in about 10 to 15 minutes. All right, guys, so it's been 10 minutes since the last time we glazed, so we can go ahead and put another coat on it. All right, so our average temperature in turn, uh, temperature for the Kamado Joe has been 200 between 283 and 250. I uh, want to really cook between 225 and 250 for such a lean piece of meat, but Kamado Joe had its own ideas. So couldn't get it dialed in to a lower temperature, but I think we'll be fine. Okay, then we'll be all right. Uh, we'll let it go ahead for another 10 minutes and we're getting close to being done. All right, guys, so this is gonna be the third and final time that we're gonna glaze our pork loin, okay? Uh, the reason I'm gonna use a spoon this time is because a lot of the orange marmalade itself is down in the bottom of the jar. And using the brush, you only get mostly liquid. And I wanna get some of the bits and pieces of orange marmalade on top of the pork loin to go along with the rest of the seasoning and the flavors, okay? So let's go ahead and we're gonna spoon this on and it will be almost time to take it off. All right, so there's our pork loin looking all nice and luscious. So we're gonna go ahead and put some of these, some of this orange marmalade heavy on top of it. Like this glaze should add some nice sweetness to the pork loin, like I said, to go along with the savoriness of the SPG rub that we put on here from Grill Mates, okay? And you don't have to put Grill Mates rub on there. Or you can put whatever SPG or whatever 
whatever rub you see fit so but i'll put the link to everything that we use down in the description block all right that's the final glaze we're gonna close it up and we're gonna let her finish up once we get between four, 145 and 150 we're gonna pull her off and let her rest all right so the internal temperature of our pork loin is 147 degrees and we're about to remove it off, but we're going to let it rest. Oh, it's got a lot of juice on this bad boy. I'll give you a close-up look at this. So you can see all of the SPG, the pockets of liquid, the orange marmalade from the glaze. It smells fantastic. I know it's going to be juicy and tender. Cannot wait to have a taste test, but we got to let it rest first. So... We'll let it rest for about 10 minutes and then we're going to dive into it. All right, guys. So we're finished with our cook. Man, this pork loin smells fantastic, man. I can see the bits of orange on top of it. It's got a lot of juice running uh, around the board. So I, I know it's juicy. So I just kind of wait to cut into this and see exactly what it tastes like okay we pulled it off of the kamado joe at 147 degrees internal we let it sit here for about 10 minutes so you know the carryover took it up a little bit but there's juice all over the board so i am anxious to see how this came out so i'll bring you close i'm going to cut her up and have a taste test and before i get started this is the new dow strong hybrid spatula knife uh, in case you're on the flat top or the griddle you can uh, cut up your vegetables and meats, and then you can use this in as a spatula. So pretty cool. I'll do a full review on this in the next video uh, if you, in case you guys are interested. All right, so let's go ahead and have a let's slice her up right quick. Man, it's, it is really juicy. Smells fantastic. Even got a little bit of a smoke ring. Not much, but a little bit of a smoke ring. All right. That looks fantastic. Let's go ahead and have a taste. All right, I'm going to take one of these slices and I'm going to cut it into smaller pieces. That way I won't have a mouthful of pork. This knife is really sharp, really nice. Love this knife. All right. Oh, it smells fantastic. All right, let's have a taste. Oh, man. I am loving that orange marmalade glaze with this SPG and this pork loin, man. This is fantastic. It's not extremely sweet. It's just got a hint of sweetness with the taste of the orange, and then it evens out the SPG that you put all over the pork loin. Got to have a little bite. My goodness. Moist, juicy. I mean, juice all over the board. I'll give you guys a close-up to let you see the juice all over the board. But man, this is fantastic, man. A fantastic cook. The cherry wood seems to have provided a nice dark color to the pork loin. And um, I think this came out fantastic, okay? Well, that's all we have time for today. Hey, if you guys are interested in getting 10% off your total purchase at Dow Strong Knives, check out the link below. It also helps out the channel, but you get 10% off at no additional cost to you. Um, also, uh, if you're interested in a uh, some type of internal thermometer, uh, check out Meter, and I'll put the link uh, to their website down in the description block also, and a link to the uh, Amazon link if you guys are interested in getting a meter. Uh, Dow Strong Knives and thermometers such as Meter are great presents for folks uh, who dabble into barbecuing or cooking uh, for Christmas uh, and for the holidays. Okay, so hey, check that out, all right? Well, that's about it. That's all we have time for today. Hey, like we always say, where there's smoke, there's fire. If it's fire, then damn it, there just might be a barbecue there or a pork loin on your smoker going through a little libation. <laughs> hey, as always, hey, we'll see you guys around the smoker.